All right, viewers, thank you for tuning in to KLIN News, Weasel Mobile. Uh, tonight we are at the Mobile Police Department headquarters on Innocence Boulevard. Uh, we're about to go ahead with a press conference with Commissioner Donovan uh, to talk about the recent incident with the uh, shooting with an officer being suspended. Uh, we are joined in the studio by correspondent Dave Rodriguez and Mike Smith. Uh, so we are getting ready to ask the commissioner some questions. Uh, this is correspondent Dave Rodriguez again. Uh, we are still waiting on the commissioner to come out to entertain the press conference. Um, we should have the commissioner out within the next five minutes. So. I'm Commissioner Donovan with the GTA Mobile Alabama Clan. I'm here to host a press conference on behalf of the Mobile Police Department. On February 1st, 2019, around 8 p.m., Officer Brooklyn T. Rock was attempting to conduct a traffic stop on a wanted suspect that appeared to be driving under the influence. All of the information I'm able to provide at this time is that the suspect was under the influence of alcohol and that the officer was assaulted and shots were fired right after. The officer has been on the department for many years and has recently been promoted. We will take full accountability for the officer's actions if he is found guilty. Commissioner, could you tell us what the lead up to this incident was? What was the suspect um, wanted for before the officer began to chase him. Well, like I said before, the suspect was um, had already fled on a uh, pursuit and had got away previously that night. So we got back in touch with the vehicle, and um, that's when Brooklyn actually the, attempted to pull him over again. Okay, Could you tell us how many shots were fired from the officer? Um, I do believe there was two shell casing, casings that was uh, fired from um, the officer's weapon. And also video footage shows that from somebody that recorded it. Okay. We've had some concerns about the uh, intent of the officer that have been emailed to us uh, through our website. We'd like to ask you uh, some of their questions. So what do you think the officer's reasoning or intent was for shooting at the subject's vehicle? Um, at this time, I'm not going to be able to answer that question. Uh, like I said, it's still in investigation right now. So until we get full details on the reasoning, like I said, we had to sit down and talk with the officer and um, basically, you know, interview him and get his full side of the story. And once we get that information available, we'll we'll reach that out to you all. Okay. And just to confirm that the suspect from the uh, the incident, he was apprehended, correct? Yes, he was um, taken into custody probably around after the 15-minute pursuit. Um, like I say, he led officers on a second pursuit, and he was later on arrested on I-65. Okay. Um... Could you tell us what type of vehicle was used in the chase? I believe it was a um, two-door black sports car. It's, uh, I'm not really able to remember the model right now, but once I receive that information, um, I'll get that as, to you guys as well. Okay, and are you, have you uh, been able to release the uh, information on the suspect that was involved in the incident yet? Or are you not releasing his name or anything at this time? Um, we haven't uh, gotten a chance to do any of that yet. Uh, that's still going to be under investigation because, like I say, we st we're not going to be able to release the information just yet. But we do have a suspect in custody. 
All right. Would you say that this individual, besides the initial uh, prior warrant, did he have any criminal background? Was he a known gang member or anything like that? Uh, yeah, he's notorious for, um, uh, drugs. Like I say, we, he did have marijuana on him at the time. Um, I did get a chance to go back through the report, and, um, like I say, they did find some small dime bags, some marijuana, and, um, no weapons was found on him at, at the time of the arrest. Okay. Would you say that you suspect the marijuana to be the suspect's uh, motive for fleeing, or do you have uh, do you think the suspect had ulterior motives for fleeing? I'm not sure. Um, I'm pretty sure he just didn't probably want to go back to jail that night. Um, but like I say, with the two bags of marijuana that we did receive from that, very well could have played part in his reasoning for um, excluding the police. All right. Um... How uh, how experienced of an officer is this? How many years has be, uh, has the officer been with the MPD? Um, he's been with the department, like I say, over a period of amount of time. He has been promoted, and uh, he has lots of experience. So uh, he's not one of the, the new ones to just roll it out. Um, he was actually a sergeant at the time. Oh, okay. Um, Dave, do you have any questions for the uh, commissioner here? I do not, no. Okay, commissioner, I believe that's all we have for questions at this time. Uh, we will be reaching out to you in, uh, in the future if we feel any additional information is needed, but we appreciate the, uh, the questions being answered. All right, thank you, sir.